Hey guys, Ariel Hobby here with the Watch With Us channel coming to you with another below average review of above average products. So today we are gonna be reviewing the Tropic Strap and other Tropic-like straps. The reason I say that is there's only one strap on the market today that actually retains the name Tropic and that is of course the Tropic Strap. Now, all others are called tapestry straps or tropic like straps. So that way when I refer to one as a tapestry like strap, you know that I'm talking about the other four that are not the actual branded tropic strap. Now those other four are Maraud, Otto Frey, Uncle Seiko, and Watch Gecko. Those seem to be the most popular in the groups and on the forums that I have polled. And hopefully this comparative review will give you the information that you need to make the best, most informed decision possible. All right guys, a little bit about the Tropic Strap or Tropic Light Straps in general. It's a fairly simple concept in the 1960s and 70s. Uh, recreational diving, professional diving was really taking off and people wanted an OEM alternative to the stainless steel bracelet and Tropic Strap was able to provide that. The general look of all of them um, is a tapestry weave in the front a basket weave, a, a high ridged basket weave on the back that gives it a, a, a breathability factor in the strap so that way uh, moisture can seep through the, the holes and the vents in the strap. Now some have two keepers, some have one keeper, but one of the things that most of the straps have is a very aggressive taper. Now the Tropic strap that I'm holding in my hand, the Tropic actual branded strap is 20 millimeters and it tapers all the way down to 16 millimeters. Now, what I'm gonna do to get this, uh, this review rolling is I'm gonna use this as, as the baseline, if you will, so that way I can show you the pliability or the flexibility test so we can get this review kicked off. Now, Maraud watches donated their straps so that way I can review them in this review, which I think says a lot about them and their confidence in their product. So I'm gonna hold each strap in my hand and if you notice, I'm gonna put my fingers horizontally and see where the strap uh, sits. So let's look at Maraud comparatively. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn them like this so I can that way get a little bit more weight on the end. And you can, all, you can all of a sudden see how the Tropic strap in my left is a lot more flexible or pliable than the Maraud strap on the right. So I'm gonna put Maraud down and I'm gonna go to Auto Fray. So let's do the same thing. If you notice, the Auto Fray does have a little uh, downward bend Still nothing like the Tropic. Uncle Seiko. Uncle Seiko doesn't even try to pretend. It's uh, pointing just about straight up. Yep. And then of course, Watch Gecko, which is last but not least. So Watch Gecko is horizontal. Now, the material that these straps are made of, Tropic that I have in front of me, is made of vulcanized rubber. Um, it smells just like an isoframe strap. Uh, it has that sweet smell of vanilla. It's, it's very, very soft to the touch. Um, your fingers, when you rub it, you can feel that, that tapestry design in the front. And of course, has that, that, uh, that high ridged, if you will, that, that, that deep basket weave pattern in the back, that diamond pattern in the back. Now, Maraud, if you go to their website, Maraud is a brand that makes vintage inspired watches. And so Maraud actually donated their straps as I, as I already said. Again, when you feel it, um, it does not feel as soft as Tropic, but it still has a, a soft feel to it. And they say that their straps are made of true rubber. Um, Not really smelling, smelling anything other than just, just uh, rubber. Um, it's not a strong rubber scent, and these straps right here sell for fifty dollars plus twenty two dollars for ship, but they are sold out. Not sure if I mentioned it, but Tropic straps right now are selling for seventy nine dollars plus ten dollars shipped to your house. Now onto Auto Fray. This is a brand that I feel 
um, if you want to call it a brand. Of course, Auto Fray is an online store that sells watch parts, and they have been doing that since the 1930s. Um, I don't think they really tried to go out there and pretend that they were selling a Tropic Strap. They saw that Tropic Straps were, were becoming popular. Uh, I'm sure that they uh, have a supplier that could knock them out um, as fast as Mike Tyson could knock out boxers in the ring when he was, when he was uh, boxing. And so they said, okay, look, we're going to make some cheap straps that are going to resemble a Tropic uh, pattern. And so that's what they did. This strap does not have the aggressive taper that the other straps have. That seems to be, uh, I'm gonna pick up Tropic and Marat again. That seems to be um, very big in the Tropic world. That is something that, that is indicative of that design. So you have, again, Auto Fray. It is 100% silicone feeling. Uh, when my fingers rub uh, across it, I mean, I can't feel a pattern. In fact, just by my fingers rubbing up on it, I know that you can't tell, and I'll send a, I'll put a shot of this here in, uh, right about now. You'll see that it's already leaving um, just some of the some of the, the stuff from my fingers, uh, skin dead skin cells, whatever. Um, it just doesn't feel good. It has a very bland buckle, as where the Tropic has a nice vintage uh, buckle. Uh, it says Tropic on it. Maraud has a not so vintage buckle. You'll see a picture of it here shortly, but it does say Maraud. Uh, these people just have, Auto Fray has just a, a very inexpensive um, buckle and, and a very inexpensive strap. Now, one thing about Auto Fray is that you have to order two, and they're $10 a piece plus $10 for ship. So at a minimum, you're in 30 bucks. Uh, the good thing about it is if you don't like the straps and you didn't lose too much, and if you like them, then you can give one to a friend. Um, but these are the uh, auto fray straps. They do come uh, in a wide variety because they're so easy, easy to be made, easily made. They come from a variety of 18 millimeters all the way up to 24 millimeters versus Tropic, which is just doing 20 millimeters at this point in time. And uh, Maraud at this uh, juncture, they're sold out of course, but they are doing 20 millimeters only as well. Now, Auto Fray also has tiered pricing. If you buy a bunch of them, you can get them for as low as about $7.39. All right, so Uncle Seiko straps. One of the coolest things about Uncle Seiko straps is that they are made purely for Seikos. Now, that's cool on one end and not so cool on the other. Now, they do come equipped with three fat Seiko spring bars and the strap has a uh, a big uh, opening at, of course, where the spring bars go that are equipped for them to fit that fat spring bar. Now, the strap itself, of course, uh, is made of silicone. It is, um, it, it, it feels okay. Uh, not as, uh, of course, good as the Tropic Maraud or even the Watch Gecko strap that we'll talk about here in just a second. Um, but it is nice. It does have a, a pretty decent uh, taper to it. And the buckle is a satin and it is uh, fairly vintage uh, looking. Now, one of the cool things about this, other than, of course, um, the fact that it fits your Seiko, is going to be that it comes in that very elusive 19 millimeters 20 millimeters, 22 millimeters, and the price is 39 bucks plus about $4 for shipping. So this is a nice alternative if you're needing to put a Tropic-like strap on one of your Seikos and the other, uh, the other ones that we have here on the table don't seem to work well with your fat spring bars. All right, guys, now let's look at Watch Gecko. So Watch Gecko is also an online brand. Uh, their, their strap feels actually a lot more like the Tropic and the Maraud. Um, it feels soft. Now, one of the things that they describe their rubber as uh, NBR or synthetic rubber, also known as Buna N. The only reason I'm including that is because for whatever reason, I think the name is, is, is kind of cool and kind of silly and I have no idea what Buna N is other than I can relate it now to synthetic rubber. It does feel really good. Um, it does have a, a, a fairly nice taper to it. Now one of the things that I did not like about this and I'm going to show you a, a, a detailed picture of it here shortly. 
uh, is the actual buckle. Now, one of the things is, is that they did change the buckle for the Watch Gecko uh, Tropic-like strap. That's, uh, it's, it's just very modern looking. And remember, uh, Tropic and Tropic-like straps are very vintage looking. Now, one of the cool things about this, it is very inexpensive and it feels pretty good. Um, again, synthetic rubber and you're looking at $36 plus free ship. Now, on to one of the biggest tests that I think you guys are gonna appreciate. That's, of course, the lint magnet test. All right, guys, so welcome to the lint magnet test. Uh, of course, we have Tropic, Maraud, Auto Frey, Uncle Seiko, and, a, and uh, to the right, Watch Gecko. So one of the things that I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna grab real piss of lint that I have here, and we're gonna see how they stick to the actual straps. That is Tropic. Now Maraud. Now remember, this is uh, vulcanized rubber. This is true rubber, whatever that is. Now let's go on to auto fray. Auto fray is silicone. All right, Uncle Seiko. And last but not least, let's do Watch Gecko. I'm gonna turn it around here. So, based on this lint test, I would say that Tropic, Maraud, and of course Watch Gecko all performed the best, the least, are the ones that we thought were gonna perform uh, horribly as they did, which is the two that are silicone, which is Uncle Seiko, which Uncle Seiko seems to have uh, been the worst. Auto Frey being the, uh, the second worst. And it looks to me that uh, Watch Gecko is, is, is third. Tropic and Maraud, uh, fared the best. All right, guys. So now let's look at the Tropic, the Maraud, the Auto Frey, Uncle Seiko, and Watch Gecko on the same exact watch. Let's see how they look. So we're going to start off with Tropic. This is my Polar Explorer. So we're going to use, again, the same watch so that way we can get a better feel for what the straps look like on the same timepiece. This is the Tropic strap. It's a beautiful strap. Uh, notice that it has two keepers. It has that, that very vintage uh, buckle that is branded with Tropic. So let's take a look at what the strap looks like on the watch. This is a dark blue color. That waffle pattern on the back, branded with Tropic. Again, right now, only available in 22 millimeters, but you're gonna see that high ridge pattern on the sides, almost like an alligator tail. Nice tapestry and two keepers. Very comfortable on the wrist. Again, this is made of vulcanized rubber. All right, that's the Tropic. All right, so we switched the uh, strap on the Polar Explorer to the Maraud. There's Maraud's buckle. Very similar design, of course. We are, at the end of the day, reviewing 
straps that are all very similar in look. So we're really looking at wearability uh, and what they feel like in your hand, what they feel like on the wrist, and of course, how much uh, they attract lint or not, which you guys have already seen the results of that. Of course, I went ahead and cleaned off all the straps so they can all look equally nice or at least have the chance to. Not as supple uh, or pliable as the Tropic, but still, still, still a nice strap. All right, we're gonna switch over to the Auto Fray. All right, so this is the Auto Fray version of the strap. One thing that you'll notice is that it's very hard to handle without getting uh, lint on it or skin cells. I mean, you can tell in the keepers right there that number one, they don't match. So they're not, uh, they don't have the same pattern as let's say, um, you know, this, this actual Tropic branded strap, the keepers match, um, similar to the, to the Maraud. Uh, this one, again, they didn't try very hard and the strap is, is just what it is. That uh basket weave in the back as you notice it does not traverse the entire length of the strap so it is what it is you're getting a very inexpensive strap with the auto fray again they're they're 10 bucks but when you're affixing it to a watch such as this polar uh explorer that i have in front of me or even other watches that are just as nice if not nicer I, I just think that they the watch itself deserves a little more. But you know, if you're putting it on a watch that's a hundred bucks, I guess uh, a ten dollar strap will do. But this is the the very silicone version of the tapestry strap from Auto Frame. All right, guys, on to the Uncle Seiko. Now, remember, Uncle Seiko is the one that has. Uh, room for the fat spring bars, the Seiko spring bars. Um, you know, again, one keeper on this one, uh, just a, a nice uh, vintage buckle. This is the one that performed the worst when it came to the the um, lint test. It is completely silicone, and um, there it is. Not much to say about it other than uh, you can pick it up for about 39 bucks plus uh, $4 for ship. That's the way it looks like on the Explorer. All right, so here we have the Watch Gecko, which is, um, you know, honestly of the least expensive of the straps or at least uh, of the three least expensive, it's my favorite. Um, with, of course, uh, the keepers probably need to be redone, in my opinion, if you want it to look a little bit more vintage. These are uh, closer to what some of those isoframe clone straps are using. And the buckle was probably my least favorite. I, I just don't think it, it vibes well with the, with the design. But it's, it's, you know, it's a nice strap for, for the money. It actually performed really well when it came to the, uh, to the lint test. Tropic, of course, uh, being number one, Maraud number two, and this one number three. Truly, I think Maraud and this one could be very interchangeable as far as uh, they related to that to that Linton test. But I think, again, it's a very nice option. Let me show you the back piece. Also, another strap that, that waffle pattern does not traverse the entire strap. Unlike, again, Tropic, Maraud. So, you know, I'd like I'd like for it to be all the way down the strap. But it does get hot in these in these areas. Um, again, floating keepers do not match. I think I already mentioned that, but if I didn't, uh, but very general look, and it looks okay on the Explorer. All right, so you guys have just seen 
a pretty comparative review of all the Tropic and Tropic-like straps available today. Now, of course, this is not all-inclusive. I would have had to have bought so many. I know that Grupo Gamma had one years ago that, that was pretty good. In fact, I actually wore it uh, for a while, and it's, it's a pretty nice strap. But out of the Tropic, the Maraud, the Auto Frey, Uncle Seiko, and Watch Gecko, these are my personal takeaways. Now, you may have uh, a difference of opinion, and I would love to hear them at the comments below. But as far as the best performing strap overall, as it relates to comfort, as it relates to uh, the money spent, as it relates to the true aesthetics of what we all think a Tropic strap should look like, uh, did the keepers conform to the overall design of the strap? I would have to say that my number one strap was the Tropic strap. Now remember, this is $89, $89, but yet you're getting the most comfortable, the most wearable, the best looking. Uh, it has a, a nice aggressive taper. The, 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 the keepers are, are super cool. The buckle is right uh, in line with the time period. So my number one strap goes to Tropic. It also performed the best when it came to the lint test with, of course, Maraud and Watch Gecko coming in number third. Now, as far as my second favorite strap, you guys guessed it, it would have to be the Maraud. The Maraud strap uh, performed very well. Uh, the keepers are, uh, you know, designed in the same tapestry. Um, Form that the rest of the strap is. The backside displayed the that waffle pattern throughout the entire strap. And of course, you can pick up the Maraud strap for about $72, which is getting pretty close to that Tropic cost. Again, the straps are sold out, but I do encourage you to look at their website uh, as they should be back in stock soon. Uh, their buckle was, was nice. Uh, it's not big, it's not gaudy. Uh, like I think the Watch Gecko one is. So number two is Maraud. Now, my third favorite strap is Watch Gecko. Uh, still mounted to my, to my uh, Polar Explorer. The strap performed really well when it came to the lint test, if you guys remember. I mean, it was really neck and neck with, with Maraud. Now, the things I don't like about it, of course, are the buckle, we've already mentioned that. And the keepers, the floating keepers, are just, I mean, they're just rubber, you know, looking keepers. They're, they're not, uh, they don't have the tapestry um, pattern on it. And so uh, I think that they could do a little better on that. And, as, and of course, that waffle pattern does not extend throughout the whole strap. But you're looking at $36 shipped. $36 shipped to your house. Now, least favorite, and I think that... Um, if you're looking for a cheapy strap, um, my least favorite would actually be Uncle Seiko, and here's why. So Uncle Seiko straps are $39 bucks plus $4 for shipping. So, of course, you're looking at $43 shipped to your door. But here's the thing. That's $43. Bucks. If you look at Auto Frey, even though Auto Frey and the Uncle Seiko straps performed really bad when it came down to the lint test, the auto fray ones are 10 bucks. Granted, you gotta buy two of them plus $10 for ship, so you're at $30. But the other ones, you're, you know, $13 uh, uh, in, in the future on that one, so you're about 43 bucks. Um, personally, Uncle Seiko is my least favorite strap. It performed the worst when it came down to a lint test. And between the auto fray and the Uncle Seiko, it happened to be the most expensive. So. That, uh, my, my fourth favorite strap would be Auto Frey. Again, you have to buy two of them, so you're at 20 bucks, plus that $10 for ship. Um, and it's, it's just a, a cheap strap. If something happens to it, um, then you know, you're not out a, a good chunk of money and you can also gift one to a friend. And as mentioned, my least favorite strap and the, wor the one that performed the worst out of the entire uh, group was Uncle Seiko. Um, the plus of it is, is you can get them in 19, 20, and 22 millimeters. So again, these are all my opinions. Uh, wearability and comfort and how it felt on the wrist. Um, you know, again, I found the ones that, that uh, purported to be 
uh, made of either natural rubber, true rubber, or even the synthetic rubber. Uh, they seem to be the most breathable. I wore them all on the Polar Explorer that you guys saw. And Uncle Seiko and, and, and Otto Frey, again, they, they just seemed hot as hell. Now, maybe that's a placebo effect because I knew that they were, uh, you know, silicone. Um, I'm not into the silicone straps, but if you guys are, then hey, more power to you. But at the end of the day, the best strap out of all of them was the Tropic strap. Again, thank you so much for Tropic for, uh, for donating the straps, Maraud for donating the straps, and all the other ones were purchased, which, um, you know, didn't actually play into this in any way, shape, or form other than the fact that I knew how much these straps cost. Um, and the shipping time was was uh, about the same for all of them, with the exception of Watch Gecko. Watch Gecko did take uh, quite a bit of time to get to me. Now, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, or something that you feel that you want addressed, drop them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. And again, thank you so much for subscribing to our Watch With Us channel. And of course, you can also find me on Watch Wabi Facebook group. Thank you so much, guys. God bless, and we will see you soon on another review with Watch With Us. Thanks again.